What's going on world? Tape from Collab here to give you another simple tutorial on how to record vocals on Fruity Loops. A lot of people say it's not a good program to use to re record vocals, but fuck it, I use it. It's cool. I'm on the demo version right now because my producer's edition is on the hard drive, which I can't find, so it looks like I'm gonna have to get it all over again. So. First thing we're gonna do is options, audio settings, and you choose your sound card that your mic is running through. I'm gonna use SIO for mine. Um, Scarlet 2i2 USB microphone, which I'm using, and you can set. No, the buffer size to whatever you choose. I choose 320, so that's what I'm going to use. Before we close this setting screen, click project down here. Title. I'm going to use sample. What type of music you make? You know, they have a long list for everybody and everything that you do. I'm going to use hip hop because that's my type of music, Arthur, before you close, you also want to click general, you see circular panning law, you don't want to use this, it's going to give your sound, your song, uh, round sounding effect. You don't want that, so turn that off. Now we can exit the settings box. Next thing you gonna wanna do is open your audio mixer. Not on the master, but on the first insert. You're gonna click where it says in. It select your recorded device. In mono, not in stereo, in mono. As you can see, it just picked up my microphone. Platform you money right <laughs> As you can see, it's picking up. If you don't, if you have not such a soundproof recording environment, <laughs> you're gonna want to use Fruity Limiter. And underneath underneath your select recording device is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 these are where your effects will go so you're going to click you're going to select fruity limiter and when you select fruity limiter you're going to set it to preset noise gate as you can see how the background noise drops, it only picks up loud frequencies. So your next step, if you wasn't already working on a project in Fruity Loops, your next step was to, would be to open up an instrumental or whatever you use right click sampler click load sample I can open up your instrumental or whatever I'm not really gonna open up the instrumental I'm just gonna open up something the first thing I see Y'all niggas not, so put your condoms up. Matter of fact, just give them to me. I'm about to use them condoms up. I came to rip it. Oh, yeah, I came to spit um, it. No pen and pad, I did I it. Know. Tell DJ them drama niggas, I shit it. Uh, bro. Once it opens, you click, drag. And drop onto your playlist. Now here's the part that 
is not that important as everybody makes it seem. To record, you can either use this, the microphone, click it, click into playlist as audio clip, or you could use the record button and click audio into playlist as audio clip. It's the same thing, it really doesn't matter. It'll give you four ticks and then it'll play. Record something real quick. While you're doing this, you have to make sure that it's on the microphone channel. If it's not on the channel with the microphone in it, it's not going to record it. Okay, my brother just recorded something to it. So this is what we're left with. You see how low it is? It's going to be right here under audio clips, sample, insert. You can name it, you can rename it, change colors. I'm going to um, rename it and change it color. You click it, normalize. You see it increase the volume without high frequencies. This is for remove DC offset. That's if you have a lot of p -p and t -t and all that. You know, we blow into the mic. That takes that away and all the ticks and cracks and everything in the background vocals. So I'm going to uh, play the vocals back to you so you can see how it sounds. So you gotta excuse me. Alright, you hear how it sounds? This is where the uh engineer skills come in. What I'm gonna do for this is gonna be simple, quick, and it's gonna clear it all up. I'm gonna move this to track one. I'm gonna take off the fruity limiter and replace it with a compressor. Fruity compressor. Well, I'm going to turn the threshold to 16. Two. You could put it between 15 and 17. I use 16 to ratio 3.01 gain. Nine on one. You can use it between eight and ten. I wouldn't go past eleven. It's a little too loud. I wouldn't go past nine point five for real. But it's up to you on how you use it. For attack, I'm going to put it on eighteen point one. Release four hundred thirty four. And type soft. This is going to open it up a little bit and give it a little, you know, stereo sound. I'm going to also use um, a paramedic metric EQ. I'm going to go to the preset. I'm not going to go to the preset. I'm going to set this. I'm going to take the six and I'm going to move it to a spot where you know uh -huh, it sounds better at right? first foot the eight when I'm putting up in the dry though or the parking lot. I kill the block in the parking lot. I shouldn't have used the uh limiter because you know my mic isn't that that bad, so that's why it sounds like it's cutting off a little early. Um, 
I'm just I'm just doing a couple quick settings for y'all just to give y'all an example. You know, I'm not gonna do my whole shebang, give you everything. You know, because I got some secrets and I can't show. So I'm just gonna matter of fact, I'm just gonna leave it at this. I will add a delay. I'm gonna add a delay just for. That's not even um, as good as it can sound. I'm just giving you a quick example that you can record on Fruity Loops, and it will sound great, and I will show you how to do it. I won't show you my exact settings, but I will give you an example so you can start off, you know, on the path of greatness. I ain't going to set you up for failure. So after you're done, you know, with your work or whatever, this isn't done. Come in. You're going to want to. Change it to a MP3 file. Save it, whatever, wherever, name it, wherever, you know. I'm not going to save this for real. When you get to this, I'm going to show you the uh, quality. This will be radio quality. This will be CD quality. And this will be studio quality. So again, 192 radio, 256 studio, I mean CD, 320 studio. And the higher it is, the bigger the file is. So better quality, bigger file. Um, I don't use Wave, so I can't tell you about Wave. I use MP3, so you start in a uh, mixed style, saves wherever you want to. You'll have a great. It's not. It won't be Little Wayne. I'm in the studio, great, but it'll be. I don't sound like I'm rapping out of a shoebox, great. So, you know what I'm saying? That was it for this time. Next time, I'll give y'all a little sample of something else. I'll probably have Money do one of these for his beats. Well, not his beast will show you how to do his thing. So, till next time, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, take from class. Can you give it up for money?